The Japanese have suffered their worst tragedy since the Second World War, with the quake and enormous tsunami that swept in and destroyed the, ta the towns in northern Japan and also unsettled the reactors in Fukushima. What is certain is that Japan will no longer be the power that it once was for the, f for the foreseeable few years. It has suffered an economic decline for over the past 20 years since the 1990s and also it lives in a very dangerous neighbourhood. With such a neighbour as North Korea, Japan might have thought for a second that perhaps North Korea might have taken advantage of this tragedy to show some demonstration to the world that it was still around uh, and to unsettle the Japanese even further as the survivors shivered in the cold and sweat, snow swept um, hills and mountains of north northeastern Japan. The Japanese confidence in themselves has been shaken but I'm sure that as you saw there was no looting. There was a very ordered and very uh, non-panic and stoic way that the Japanese dealt with their problem. The Japanese did not resort to turning on each other as we've seen in other natural crises around the world, particularly in Africa. Uh, what we see in the Japanese mindset is a collective and social responsibility for each other and an ordered and non-chaotic way of doing things with a very strong organisation. But what about the economic effects and security effects as I mentioned in my videos Asia's Deadly Triangle series on Japan? Well as we've seen the rise of China affect Japan's confidence we've also seen they're, they're moving away from nuclear power even more since this tragedy at Fukushima nuclear plant. The Ch Chinese themselves and the Germans have also stopped nuclear power and although I'm against nuclear power on moral grounds there is also the need for Japan's security to have, a, have as they have no independent nuclear deterrent of their own but the ability to quickly make a nuclear weapon within four weeks should they need one. That was Japan's deterrent against North Korea. That deterrent is now under review and will probably cease cease to be. But I think this is a dangerous step for Japan because it will mean that they're more and more reliant on natural gas which and oil which they get from Saudi Arabia. With the present crisis caused by Saudi Arabia in resisting democratic change in uh, the Middle East um, and the evil axis that they pose between them, Saudi Arabia, China and North Korea all of which have tried to control North, uh, the Middle East and North Africa away from the European Union whereas the United States really has limited interest in North Africa due to the presence of BP and other large European oil companies which control more and more of the the amount of flow of oil towards Europe rather than in towards the United States. In fact, of out of Libyan oil, only three percent goes to the United States, whereas the rest goes in almost entirely to Europe. This was one of the main reasons why the European uh, news crews were greeted with placards saying what oil for the West by the Libyan protesters. But all of this has shifted all of this with the earthquake has shifted away from Libya and shifted attention on rightfully so on the fifteen thousand or more people who lost their lives due to the horrific tsunami. What we must do though is to give all aid that we can to Libya and Japan to the Libyan Democratic Forces and to the survivors of the tsunami. We must have a Marshall Plan for the Middle East run by the European Union and also a Marshall Plan for the United, by the United States to, to Japan so that the West works together on this, on this subject which is linked by the reciprocal need for the Japanese to produce 
consumer goods for the West and the West to provide security for Japan and Japan to get oil and gas from the, the Middle East which needs to be democratic why are the oil supply so high why is it so so terrible in the Middle East it's because you have feudalistic crime families like the Bin Ladens and Saudi Arabian royal family controlling the oil spigot and controlling the amount of supply to the West and causing the oil prices to be high it's not the protesters fault the the security framework also in North, in northeastern Asia has to be seriously looked at. The Chinese won't allow the reunification of of uh, Korea because they see it as a threat. South Korea particularly. North Korea, they know they can control, but can they really? They they believe they can control it, but North Korea and the um, under the present regime, has uh, nuclear weapons and is not frightened of demonstrating these by overflights of those missiles over Japan, which caused the world's largest two la two largest navies, apart from those in Europe and in America, to confront each other over a very small distance in the Straits of Korea or the Straits of Japan, as the Japanese would call them. The um, North Koreans, of course, have a vast navy and amphibious uh, war ships, although all of them are outdated, to cause the Japanese no end of problems. And the Japanese must be looking at these, these and taking in consideration not only their domestic problems with the earthquake and the tsunami, but also their military problems as the chief outpost of the United States in Asia. Also, are we going to see the coalescence of a of a strange anti-Chinese, anti-North Korean alliance between Japan, Communist Vietnam, South Korea, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, and India to surround China? I think the United States and the EU would probably like this to happen, but I think it's unlikely to happen. There are just too many complex and historical um, problems to achieve this and so the Chinese will probably dominate. They will dominate even more so because Japan's industrial production over the next five years or to maybe even ten years will be affected by the fact that they won't have nuclear power to produce all the things that they need and they will be dependent on the fluctuations of oil and gas coming from the from the Middle East which the Chinese can use their proxy Iran to try and disrupt that even more. So we, we they have their problem with Iran and we have our problem with Saudi Arabia. What we need is to get rid of the, both of these problems by having democratic revolutions in both of those com countries. And so therefore, if the both sides want cheap oil, then we both have to cooperate in the Middle East to get democratic change. But what China is worried about is democratic change in its own own uh, sphere of influence in Myanmar, North Korea and its own country. J the Japanese of course don't have any problems, they are a democracy but they are a feudalist democracy. Also where people expect to be looked after for their, the obligations because the Japanese do not have rights, they have obligations to each other and those that if those obligations are not met by this sort of social Japanese contract, then you could see terrible events occur in social disillusion in Japan, which has already has some outlets in some sort of, in some sort of clique groups in Japan who've moved away from regular Japanese society, but. As I, as I said in my video, American decline in European, the rise of European power, um, we may also see the dissolution of the American capitalist system um, occur, just like with the collapse of the Soviet Union, which China is dependent on. And China's population may crash as well because they have one child policy. So the Japanese may.